back to RX Muscles Iron Road to the Arnold Classic 2019 brought to you by Redcon One. I'm Dave Palumbo and today we're going to talk about Josh Lenardowitz, the dark horse in this Arnold Classic 2019 lineup. Uh, we didn't see him in 2018. He took the whole year off, uh, especially uh, after the death of his good friend Dallas McCarver. Uh, after, I know that Josh took the loss uh, very, um, very hard. Uh, I think he was planning to take the year off anyway, and he obviously is working on making improvements. I think sometimes in a bodybuilder's lifespan, uh, it's good to take a year off where you kind of just can, you know, basically focus on other things, training, you know, just getting big, not always having to diet. Because when a, when a pro bodybuilder hits a certain level like Josh is at, and he does the Arnold in Olympia every year, it's, it's like he's never stopping. So this kind of allowed Josh to, you know, to get, give himself some time to rest a little bit, to let his body heal up all whatever injuries he might have had, and come back at his best. And I think this is a good comeback to make at the Arnold Classic. He'll be here, obviously, then in two weeks he'll be at the Arnold Australia. And I, and I think he's got to be considered one of the most dangerous guys in this lineup because we haven't seen him on stage in, in two years. And he's a guy who can stand size-wise, conditioning-wise with the best of the best. He can stand up there with uh, William Bonac. He can stand up there with Ruli Winkler, and he can hold his own. Now, if you look at this, this is exclusive uh, video footage we have uh, from a photographer who's a, a friend of the show and he wanted to uh, donate this. This is Josh uh, like a couple weeks ago, I think, or maybe a week ago. And as you can see, he's looking fibery, he's looking grainy hard. Uh, he's, he's always got the, the good conditioning on stage. He's got a lot more size than people even are you know, aware of and he really displays it well on stage. To me, he's a guy who can step into this lineup and if, if some of the top guys are a little off, He's going he's gonna to really shine on, in that lineup. And I think he's got to be considered one of the most dangerous guys out there because we haven't seen him. Um, we know what Bonac looks like. We know what Cedric looks like. And Cedric is, once again, a crapshoot at best. We know what Ruli looks like. And from what we've seen from Ruli Winkler, and I'll talk about him in another video, um, he's not looking so, so sharp. You know, it, it, There's a possibility that we might see a Ruli Winkler that's a little off conditioning-wise. Josh is always in great shape. Uh, maybe the, the one mistake he might have made at the Olympia last year was that he might have come in a tad too flat. Uh, he was a little off and he just wasn't at his best. Uh, this was at the Olympia, excuse me, 2017 we were talking about. And once again, uh, you know, it was a tough year for Josh. But as you can see, I mean, he's very strong in the gym. He believes in hardcore heavy training. And that's why he's got a lot of dense muscle. Uh, he's got some of the best legs in the lineup, I think. He's got great calves. He's got great delts and arms. He's got good abs. He's got, he's, got, he's got all the body parts you need. You know, the question is, will we see, from a conditioning and dryness standpoint, the best Josh Lenardowitz, and will he be full enough okay, at the same time? It's, Dennis Wolf struggled his whole career with trying to get to be full enough, yet hard enough at the same time. And I think that that's been Josh's struggle, and once he nails that and figures out how to come in full, but dry and grainy, I think that he's going to be winning shows that a lot of people never uh, suspected he would win. I think he's a top six Olympian all the way. Um, la the last time he competed on the Olympia stage in 17 and also in 16 he was ninth place. I say this year he has a, an ability to move up into that top six if he learns how to once again find that fine line between fullness and, and, and dry and hardness. And I, and, and I think he's there. I think, I think taking this year off enabled him to become a, more of a student of his body, learn what works and doesn't work. I'm sure he did a lot of experimentation on you know, di trying different carb ups and depletions. At least that's what I would have done if I had a whole year off. And I think we're gonna see the best Josh Leonardo that we've ever seen. Obviously in that video footage we saw, he is ready. And he's ready to go. And, and I, I'm excited because I like to see guys when they take some time off and see if they can bring something special to the stage. Josh, best of luck up there. We're, we're gunning for you. And we, I'm sure we're going to get you on. I know, I think, tomorrow on your own, a live with interview. So that's going to be exciting. For now, though, I am Dave Palumbo for RX Muscles Iron Road to the Arnold Classic 2019, brought to you by Redcon One. I'll see you next time.